So I was having a lovely little quiet conversation with myself in front of my mom. And she thought I was talking to her, so she was like, huh, what'd you say? And I was like, oh, I wasn't talking to you, I was just talking to myself. And she was like, that's weird to talk to yourself. And I was like, how is it weird to talk to yourself when you're with yourself 24 seven? How do you have a relationship with yourself if you don't talk to yourself? So then she says, I don't need to talk to myself because I already know what my thoughts are. And I just laughed to myself because I'm like, everybody knows what their thoughts are. <laughs> the question is, how do you know if these thoughts are coming from you or if they're coming from the enemy? Let's just say you have a negative thought, which is really the enemy attacking you. And you don't challenge that thought. You don't rebuke that thought out loud. Guess what's going to happen? More thoughts similar to that original thought are going to pile on. And before you know it, you're going to be depressed. You're going to be stressed. You're going to be having panic attacks. You have to be your own therapist because spiritual warfare is constant. If you keep everything bottled in because you feel crazy talking to yourself out loud, you feel like you can only talk about something out loud if you talk to another person. Guess what? You always going to be reliant on other people, which is foolish because it's really just you and God. And sometimes God speaks to you through you. It's not even you talking to yourself. It's really God giving you the downloads and them coming out of your mouth. You ever have those times where you'd be like, you'll be talking to yourself and you'd be like, dang, where did that wisdom just come from? It came from the Lord. <laughs> I even used to think talking to yourself was crazy, but guess what? When I wasn't talking to myself, I was going crazy. I was constantly having panic attacks. I would be breaking down crying out of nowhere and I didn't know why. And I was so frustrated with God because I'm like, God, why can't I hear you? Why do I feel like you're silent? Do you even exist? But then I had to realize, Kyla, the reason you're not hearing from God is because you be too embarrassed to really talk to God because you feel like you talking to God is really just you talking to yourself, but you don't realize it's one and the same. So about nine years ago, I went to this bar and I had a conversation with this atheist. And after this conversation, I started questioning everything I believed. I started questioning, maybe God isn't real. Maybe we just made all this up. And that caused me to go into a really dark depression. I felt like there was something over me. This dark spirit I had over me stayed with me for months. I felt like a zombie. I felt like I was possessed. I felt like I was the walking dead. There would be days I wouldn't even take a shower. I didn't care about how I looked and it got so bad. I was like, maybe I should just kill myself because I can't take all this noise that's going on in my head. I was so quiet during that period, but in my head, there was so much noise. It was so much chaos. It was so much screaming and yelling and confusion and like I said, during that time, I wasn't talking to myself. I wasn't even talking to God. I was literally keeping everything in my head. One night I was taking a bath and I heard a voice say, why don't you just kill yourself? Aren't you tired of having all these thoughts? Aren't you tired of your mind running wild? Aren't you tired of feeling confused? Why don't you just put yourself out your misery and kill yourself? Yeah, people will be sad at first, but they'll get over it. You're just one of billions of people. They will move on with their lives. You're not that important. And I started looking up easy ways to kill yourself, easy ways to commit suicide. And right as I was doing that, another voice came in and it said, you better not. You know better than that. Do you understand the calling that I have on your life? You better not, you know better than that. When I heard that second voice, I knew it was God. So I said out loud, I don't care what it takes. I'm not giving up that easy. I'm gonna overcome this. I don't know how, but I know that I will. I said that out loud. After that, I started seeking. 
I started finding. I started waking up. And that actually made my faith even stronger. Because really, that's the only reason why that man was able to get to me is because my faith wasn't strong. Your therapist ain't always going to be there. Your friend ain't always going to be there. Your boo ain't always going to be there. But guess what? It's always going to be you and God. But if you feel weird talking to yourself, you probably don't really talk to God. Talking to myself has dramatically improved my relationship with God. And it's been a lifesaver. Because just think, if I would have never responded out loud to God's voice, and I would have just kept letting both sides go back and forth, who knows? I might have ended up listening to the devil's voice and taking my own life. I pray this message blessed you. If it did, make sure you like it. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment. And happy Thanksgiving. See y'all soon. Bye. <laughs>